on our way to Bern, the capital of Switzerland. And we're very excited to see the clock tower, the cathedral, the communications museum. Once you get to Bern, you can store your luggage in lockers. And an easy way to find it, you can either ask the information booths that are spread across the station or follow the signs with a luggage and key logo. Grüzi or hello, welcome to Bern. This is the capital city of Switzerland. I'm standing outside of this historical fountain, which is right outside the train station and right in front of different historical buildings in Old Town. Old City of Bern was founded in the 12th century on a hillside surrounded by the Aare River. Bern developed over the centuries in light and exponentially planning concept. The old buildings from the city date from various periods from the 15th century to 16th century fountains. Most of the medieval town was restored in the 18th century, but it has retained its original character. Me and Grayson are going to take you guys around the city so we can show you guys important things that you guys should go see when you come visit the capital of Bern. We are currently outside the Parliament of Bern. This should be the very first stop that you stop at when you come visit Bern. You can tour the place when Parliament is not in session, or there are galleries where you can see the sessions going on. Why did you decide to come to Bern this afternoon? Uh, watching the bears for our sons in the bear garden. Considering how long it, how, how old it is, it's uh, lovely to see as well. Great way if you want to plan out your trip or ask questions, there's an information bicycle booth right in front of the main attraction. Um, um, here the clock tower is more than 500 years old and the mechanism inside is still the same. Okay, we have down here the Einstein house. This is the apartment where Einstein lived. Mm. In the town you can find a lot of uh, fountains that's all drinking water. So if you have a bottle with you, you can refill it everywhere. Oh. Like this. How is it, Jason? Really good. <laughs> Welcome to Einstein's house. We just walked a block from the clock and we're gonna go in the museum. We weren't able to record inside of the Albert Einstein house, but it was really cool. You only have to pay five dollars if you're a student and you get to learn all about the life about Albert Einstein. You can go see the things that were in his house, learn about his whole career, and even learn that he wasn't an actual Swiss citizen who's actually from Germany, but he lived here for two years. The reason why Bern is so important to Albert Einstein is because he lived here from 1903 to 1905 where he developed his theory of relativity here. The Einstein house gives you a great chance to see what he did throughout his entire career, so I definitely recommend anybody coming. standing in front of the uh, Bern Cathedral and we're about to go up into its tower. Come along with us.
long day of walking around the city of Bern, you might be a little hungry. A great spot that has not only a lot of attractions, but a lot of restaurants is right here in front of the Child Eater of Bern. They have different restaurants and it's really close to not only the clock tower, but also the bear pit. So this is a main attraction that you guys can go see if you need a quick stop to get to a restaurant. I'm kind of just stumbled on it, on it and it's literally my favorite city in the world right now. It's <laughs> the most beautiful city. I love the fairs, I love the river, and I can actually get interviewed in Bern. <laughs> How can I not love it? What brought you guys to this spot in particular? To this part in particular? The bears. Yep. I love the bears. And Google Maps. Google Maps, uh, Google Maps is really amazing. Is in particular that you guys would recommend to a tourist or someone traveling? The bear park. Switzerland is known for multiple languages, but here in Bern, they're known for three. German, French, and English. And they're really popular while we've been here. Everything has pretty much been in German. Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that you guys found this video very informational. It was a blast showing you the sights around Bern, and goodbye. <laughs>